Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Greg Furman and this is the Forex Weekly Outlook for the week of January the 1st, 2018. Now to get started this week we're going to look at some of the main intermarket correlations and what to expect at the beginning of 2018. Now when we look at the US dollar index it, we want to look where the dollar has been. What kind of a year did the US dollar actually have in 2017? It was actually quite poor. I think dropping some 9-10% off of its highs at the 102 level finishing off the year all the way down in the, the 92 area. It, potentially even yeah 92 91 82 so not a banner year for the US dollar but i feel that 2018 will be uh, a very potentially a very different story for the US dollar and the US dollar index in general now one of the driving factors here that we're going to see in 2018 uh, versus the dollar will of course be gold now gold has had a big move up over the last several trading sessions but i'll point out to everybody here in the last couple of weeks of december ultra thin illiquid markets has pushed gold higher there's really very little reason to be buying gold period uh, given the state of the u.s economy the tax reforms which i believe will be very positive for the u.s economy uh, and which will likely lead to further interest rate hikes from the fomc so with all of that said gold is likely getting very toppy so when we look at this right now in gold and how it's going to react to the dollar we can see that the vantage point software is already showing a medium term weakness against the longer term trend we can see this pink line crossing over this blue line now we're also moving into a heavily overbought condition so in my respectful opinion what we're going to see here is when gold ultimately plummets the dollar will start its rally that will probably happen in, in the first uh, few weeks of January so gold very important uh, thing to watch now if we look at our highs too over the last several months and I draw a straight line across right here uh, gold would be very 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 unlikely that we're going to push above three uh 1320 1350 uh 1315 excuse me we're likely to fail at this level so when that happens that should send the equity markets higher when we look at the equity markets right now 2665 we didn't really get the big santa claus rally that everybody was hoping for but realistically here guys when we talk about us the santa claus rally here started in my respectful opinion last christmas and it's been one big rally through 2017 on the global equity markets and we're holding this 2665 we've closed 2676 this is again another indicator that the dollar is likely to turn higher now with commodity prices oil has managed to recover and hit a basically a yearly high so if we look at oil over the last year we sold off here for, at the beginning of the year from about $59 a barrel and at the end of the year despite the volatility the big dip into the $40 a barrel range we've come back and closed moderately bullish with light sweet crude oil now a lot of this guys has to do with the fact that it is bitterly cold uh, throughout Canada and the US and this is boosting oil prices natural gas prices but that's going to come to an end and oil will likely move lower and settle I expect it to settle in around $55 a barrel so when we look at all of these things right now we're looking at how the, the dollar is going to start the year last year 2016 ultimately one of the better years for the dollar but 2017 we basically capped out so I see a reversal happening here that we're starting off low in the dollar index and we're likely going to climb so when we take a look at that and we cross-reference that to the euro in my respectful opinion it's unlikely the euro is going to see any big move to start the year we're already moved into an overbought condition I expect a retracement back into this 18-day predicted moving average coming in at the 118.51 area so I would look for a limited top side to begin in the year and a retracement back to the vantage point critical level now with US Swiss franc we could see some very very strong opportunity here now when I bring my trend line and we shift this back 
we look for our breakout point to the upside where we've retraced from. I believe that 97 is likely going to contain any big move uh, to the downside and we're likely going to recover off this area. Now, we can't predict what is North Korea is going to do. If we get into a risk-off environment, that's going to hurt the dollar. The Swiss franc will gain strength. The yen will gain strength. But right now, all we've heard from from Little Rocket Man all these years is just a lot of a lot of talk. And uh, North Korea, I, I really don't see a big threat there at this particular time. Just a lot of back and forth rhetoric between Trump and the North Korean leader, which is really going nowhere fast here. So uh, I do find it kind of comical, the, uh, the president's comment calling him Little Rocket Man. I think it is actually kind of funny because... I personally would not have even, even responded to some of these uh, these threats from North Korea, but it's still something we have to keep our eye on. We're also here to point out we're moving into an oversold condition. So the 97 level here could see some very, very good buying opportunity to start the year. Now, with the pound dollar going into 2018, we have significant two very significant resistance zones. One comes in at 135.50 and when we zoom this out a little bit further onto the six month, we can see an even more significant area up at 136.50. So the sell zone here guys, between 135.50 and 136.50, but if we can push above 136.50, then that would lead to a bigger, potentially bigger rally. Now I believe that the British pound is going to have a fantastic 2000 2018, but that's not going to probably start until mid-April, maybe even May. So keep that in mind. If we look at the, at the British pound over the course of 2017, we can see that even though we saw that dollar weakness at the beginning of the year, we also saw weakness in the pound. But ultimately, by March and April, we can see if I just draw a straight line here, that's when usually oil prices start to move higher to support the British pound. So right now, <clears throat> we have a very interesting setup on this for sure. We're bouncing off of the vantage point 18 day predicted moving average. But that area is coming in at 133.79. And I do anticipate a retest of this area just at the beginning of the year. Now that may not be in the first week of January or the second or the third, but it is very likely that it, we're going to move lower. So keep an eye on that. We're slightly overbought here. Probably we're going to push close to 136 and then we're going to see this reverse. Now with the dollar yen, again, a very tricky move. But what I've talked about repeatedly over the last several months is that we are caught in a range with the dollar yen pair between 114.50 and the 111 area. I've been very clear about that over the last three or four months particularly. And where we're sitting right now is basically kind of in no man's land. We don't like to trade it that heavily in the middle of a range like this. We want to down towards the bottom of the range to buy or towards the top to sell but ultimately I think that the dollar yen should have a good year based on yield differences based on strong uh, economic numbers coming out of the US further interest rate hikes from the FOMC all of this supports the US dollar so the right now to begin the year we want to play this one very cautiously but I feel that this but this interim double bottom we have sitting at 112 potentially could hold now, when we come into our three main commodity currencies here, the US CAD has had a big push to the downside on those rising oil prices. But again, like I've said, I don't anticipate any big move up in oil here. Uh, $62.50, $63 a barrel, that should contain any top side in oil, and we should see the US CAD reverse. Now, what I will point out here specifically is that the U.S. tax rate, uh, the corporate tax rate cut, there are a lot of people talking about how negative it is for the U.S. economy uh, and all these different things and how dare Trump do that. Well, Canada did that years ago, guys. We were at 50% corporate tax rate. We cut it down to 45, then 40, then 35, then 30, and now it's currently sitting at 26%. So when Trump talks about all those jobs that left the U.S., well, guys, guess where they went? They went to Canada. So more likely than not, this 
new corporate tax rate that that Trump has put in will heavily favor the US jobs market and it's going to send all those jobs back across the border to the US therefore it is likely to very much hurt the Canadian dollar now the Canadian dollar if you cross reference the Canadian dollar to the corporate rate corporate tax rate cut excuse me in Canada, you can see that every time they cut the corporate tax rate, the Canadian dollar strengthens. So this is another, yet another argument for a stronger U.S. dollar in 2018, based on what we've already seen. Most of these other countries have already cut corporate tax rates. The U.S. has been stuck up in that 35 39% tax rate for years. So when we look back in history, JFK cut, cut the corporate tax rate. Clinton did it after he initially raised corporate corporate tax rates. He turned around and cut the corporate tax rate and that set off one of the biggest ex uh, expansion in the U.S. economy in history. So clearly cutting the corporate tax rate is not a horrible thing like what you will hear from some of the pundits. So we'll see how it plays out but I think that this is a big negative for the Canadian dollar. So a retracement back towards 127.27 is very likely. I believe the break of this current range is likely a false break in ultra thin illiquid markets over the last several trading days. So that big push we got on on the Thursday and Friday of the week prior to uh, Christmas and again we are already moving into heavily oversold territory. So buying opportunities here could be very very lucrative lucrative uh, down in between 125 and 124 but I think that will contain any of any move to the downside and we are likely moving ultimately moving higher now with Aussie US and New Zealand US they are going to be at the mercy of gold prices here guys so right now we've had a big move up in the last uh, couple of weeks but again for all the wrong reasons it's not for demand for Aussie dollars it's basically in thin illiquid markets we've had a big rally up in gold that's the driving factor and copper copper has been a big driver of the Oz of the Aussie dollar and iron ore but again when those prices cool off we are likely to turn lower and again if we look at the Aussie currency right now 87.1 on the predicted RSI here guys we are heavily heavily overbought so likely in all likelihood we could see uh, a false break to begin the year, a uh, push potentially towards the 79 area, and that is more likely than not when the sellers are going to come out in droves. So keep an eye on that area right now. But again, if we look at the medium term crossing over the long term predicted difference, I believe that this was a very accurate call from Vantage Point, even though we moved higher. Again, only in the last three trading sessions, uh, selling into this 7740 area in my respectful opinion was a reasonable play because we don't expect gold to have a very good calendar year 2018. Same thing can be said about the New Zealand US dollar. We've got heavy resistance here that was broken in ultra thin illiquid markets. That's why we try to avoid all trading between Christmas and New Year's because it's not a true price guys. Real money is not in there. They are not going to be taking positions on this until the new year and right Right now with everything that I've talked about in this presentation leads me to believe that ultimately the dollar is going to have a a decent year. I don't know if we're going to have a great year because nobody can predict the behavior of Mr. Trump or President Trump but um, if he gets his rhetoric under control and he just you know notches it down just a little bit focuses on the the economy and the issues and stay away from Twitter then that's going to help boost the dollar also so a lot to deal with going into the new year here but once again I think we're going to have a great trading year in 2018. So at this time I want to make sure that I wish everybody a happy new year and I look forward to doing further presentations like this in the new year. Thank you.